Hi, I'm Jenny, and I'm having an awful hair day. So to commemorate the Jufro that is going on under this hat, I'm going to make some challah. It's really depressing that even though I just did dishes, I still have um, an entire sink full of dishes left to do. So in this bowl, I have one and a quarter cups of water. I'm gonna add in yeast. Don't get the packaging into the yeast. That's not, that's not cool. So I'm gonna add in one and a half teaspoons. I call that one and a half. Next, you are going to take your bear and add about a quarter cup of his guts. I'm making a mess. Now add two tablespoons vegetable oil. <laughs> I look like a, a Russian immigrant in this hat. Next, we're gonna add in two eggs. <laughs> it's like a gong. So one and a half teaspoons of salt. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. How lovely. We're gonna add four cups of app flour. All-purpose flour. One, two, or it's by Dry fear. Hoorah. Uh-oh. Apparently you were supposed to add those one at a time and beat in, but I think because I went to culinary school for one year that I am above reading directions. So let's have some fun with this. This is how people in old country did it. No fancy KitchenAid mixers for them, even though I own one and probably should have employed it. That was dumb because now I can't look at the next step. This is so utterly gross. And if I knew that a bakery did this, uh, I would never buy fresh bread again. I am spitzing. It's all about the Yiddish today. Ay, my back. No! Oh, I hate you. We're going to let this sit for about an hour and a half and because it's friggin' hot in here, it will rise a lot. Okay, this part of the blog is gonna be a little bit of an adventure. Turn your humongous wad of very sticky dough onto the table. Okay, and smack it. I'm going to make a six strand braided challah. So when I do that, we need six strands. First, we're gonna cut this into thirds. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Uh, six. Cool. Now take one and roll it into a snake like Play-Doh. It's actually a lot easier to do it this way. Roll it into a very long snake. Six strands. Make the six strands all snap together. Take this one. Go all the way on the other side. Then take this one. Go all the way to the other side. Now we're going to take the first one we started with and go down the middle. So that's our first little cross. Now we need a new strand over here. So we're going to take the second to last, not this one. We're going to take the second to last and move it all the way over there. And then we're going to take the this one all the way on the end and move it down the center. So second to last, all the way to the left, and then last, all the way to the middle. And then second to last to that side and the last in the middle. I don't have enough room to do this with the camera here, so you're gonna have to trust that I did it the right way. You'll have to rewind if you want to see more. Ta-da! And we have a six strand braided hollow loaf. So this is going to rise for another one hour. <laughs> I've never seen one of these before. Look, it has two yolks. It, it was twins. So more patient people would have let it go the whole hour, but you know, I've already been doing this project for about three hours, so I'm done. So take your twin yolk egg, mix it up, and paint a lovely picture of egg on top of your challah. So put this in a preheated 375 degree oven for 40 minutes or until golden browned and delicious. Okay, guys, let's take this guy out. I think it exploded. Ah! Well, here's the pretty side. 
This is what it's supposed to look like. So if you're serving it, just serve this side. And here's what mine looks like. And that was making challah with Jenny. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, check out my Facebook and my Twitter and my blog and all that fun stuff. And tell your... I hope... This is like an episode of I Love Lucy or something. <laughs>